so continuing this ream instruction so this is the format that this is sid that is serial input data over here we have the data enable this should be enabled first okay in order to have serial out input output communication and sod means from here we have the data which is going outside okay so this pin is used for outputting the data whereas for input okay to take the input from the outside device from the io device or any memory devices this pin is used so it is serial input data then second is i 7.5 okay uh, let me mention the bits also this is d7 and this is d0 so from here moving like this d0 d1 d2 like this okay over here also i have not mentioned so we have this as d0 then d1 d2 d3 d4 d5 d6 and d7 right so this is msb and this is lsb same thing this is msb and this is our lsb then we have i7.5 i6.5 i5.5 all these are interrupts as we all know ie is interrupt enable then we have m7.5 m6.5 and m5.5 correct so let me give the description of all these bits so this is the description okay so this pin is used for serial input data taking input data serially this is i7.5 means this is the status of the interrupt 7 rst 7.5 so what does it indicates? It indicates when it is one, when this bit is one, it indicates that the interrupt is pending and zero, it indicates it is not active. Okay. Similarly for 6.5 and 5.5. So if this bit is one, it indicates that uh, this RST 6.5 interrupt is pending and zero, then it is not active. And same is for 5.5. So in short we can say this is a status as we all know this instruction is used only to know the status of interrupt so this gives the status of our pending interrupts that is interrupts had occurred but whether they are executed they are being served or not that is service is being given to the interrupt or not okay is being given by this three bits that is status of our pending interrupts then from this to this okay we have interrupt mask okay this pin is interrupt enable and it is used to enable the interrupt one if this bit is one it indicates that the interrupt enable flip-flop is one okay and zero means interrupt enable interrupt enable flip-flop is zero okay or we can say interrupt enable flip-flop is set and interrupt enable flip flop is reset correct and this three indicates the interrupt mask this four indicates the interrupt mask this is interrupt enable flip flop is set or reset and this three indicates the masking whether this 7.5 6.5 and 5.5 are masked or not if these bits are one then we can say that they are masked and if it is zero then we can say they are unmasked correct and whenever they are pending interrupts then as per the priority they will be served and we know very much okay in detail that how the priority is there with among this interrupts which has higher priority will be served first and then the uh, other okay so that's all about ream versus sim okay and let me discuss other things also so over here the addressing mode is implied addressing mode for both the case so i am writing that implied addressing mode number of t states is only four okay because it used just opcode fetch cycle both have only one cycle which is opcode fetch and both are of one byte and both have implied addressing mode so that's all thank you